it's starting exactly the same as all the other ones have started. Oh, for God's sake. Um, the, the write-up description in Wikipedia is quite funny because all of the other ones, I'm not sure about the very first movie, but all the other ones have been... It's a director video horror film. They're not actually horror films. The first one, I would say, is a horror. But the other ones, you might get one scary bit, but the majority of them are not that scary. The last two were not scary at all. Actually, the last three, there was nothing. There was like blood in one scene or two scenes, and that was it. Uh, but this one, it's a director DVD. So it's a sign of the times. 2003 it is. I'm already bored. It's the quality of the footage as well. The camera footage. They had better camera quality in the first two movies. Actually, the first three movies. It was, it was fairly good cinematography. The other the past five have been crap. Extremely pixelated to the point where it looks like somebody's got an, an actual barn. Because it's something in motion when they're moving the camera, it is all completely fuzzed out. So, um, well, let's win Jim more watching. Not happy with the film, it's tedious. They keep doing flashbacks. Um, yeah, it's. I had a quick look because it's so tedious. And I'm looking at the cast just in case there's anyone. I might recognise. Yeah, because the name pops up. Her name does sound familiar. I have no idea where from. I don't see anything on her history about what she's actually done that I would have seen. So I don't watch NCIS or that sort of crap. Um, but I'm looking at the rest of the cast and every single person in the cast aside from these two people so from these two people, everybody else is down as archive footage. Every single person is down as archive footage. Now what this means is that you're not actually going to see a new movie. All you're going to see is these two narrating flashbacks of the previous seven movies. And when I say the previous seven movies... I actually recognise some of these names from the previous movies. Not the past three or three movies, because I just zapped through them because they were crap. I mean, the last one, I only watched half of it. It was that tedious. Um, George Peck was in part three, I think. Richard Lynch, he played the Nazi in two movies, or possibly three movies. Emily Harrison? I'm not too sure. Josh Green sounds familiar. I think he was in part two or three. Um, Michelle Bure sounds familiar as well. That may have been the first one. But yeah, it's all archive footage. So that means it's not going to be an actual movie. It's going to be a flashback movie. Oh joy. Guess I'm watching this one on fast forward as well. Okay, they're doing flashbacks. I, I had a feeling it would be. I mean, it's not even flashbacks from a long way away. This is the last movie. They did do a couple of movies back where they spent the first 20 minutes doing previously. Yeah, this is all footage from the, the previous film. This is either the last film or the film before, which I didn't actually finish watching. I got about half an hour, 40 minutes in, and then just gave up. So, um, uh, is, is that really all it's going to be? It's just archive footage. Yeah, this is pathetic. Right, where are we? 13. See, I don't recognise this because I didn't actually watch the movie. But this is this is still archive footage.
And no, I'm still not tempted to actually go back and watch the movie. So that they're basically just, oh, you want the secret? Well, this is how it works. Oh, this is this is from movie number three. Yeah, this is movie. No I recognise the movies. This is number three because it stars uh, what's her name? What doesn't star? But the woman in it, the woman that appears in this, plays his wife. She's known to me because she was in Superman Part Two. Ursula or something like that. Her name was Ursula. She was um, the uh, what's her name from Krypton, one of the baddies. And it's quite funny because her IMBD page, this is all archive footage, all of it, has her down as a bit younger than she is in real life. Because uh, according to her official biography on the internet, so it must be true, when she was in um, Superman Part 2, flying around as an obvious woman in her 30s, they had her down as 10 or 11 years old. So she, she'd done the actress thing and changed. Yeah, this is just complete archive footage with the occasional flashback to a very brief flashback to the two of them. Yep, that's the one with the fake tits from part three. Yeah, this is just... Okay, I'm going to try and go toward the end because this is 30 minutes in and it's still just archive footage. Right, let's have a look. Let's go to 50. Yep, yeah, and that's more archive footage. That's from part five. <laughs> that one wasn't too bad for the first half of it. But it sort of get halfway through then it just went extremely crap. And then you had the same man and woman in the one that came after. So that's gonna be part five or part six. Yeah, this is it's just can it's just all archive footage. And yet, even though they're just using archive footage, it's still only an hour long. It's an hour and 13 minutes. That was the one... Part 6, I think that one was. Another one that I gave up on, and in the end, I just watched it on fast forward. The last 20 minutes, because it was just so tedious. It's like they're showing the crappy scenes for no reason. It's, it's like somebody didn't even bother watching the movies. They just, oh, this scene is going to be good. We'll put that in. Without actually knowing what's going on in the scene. Okay, we're now approaching one hour into this movie. And so far it has all been... Yep, that's where I guess it's genitals. Yeah, I don't want to see that again. Um, this is just pathetic it's not even an attempt at an original movie or even a sequel or even a prequel and there have been quite a few prequels and inter prequels or whatever you want to call it and this is I mean what is the point I don't get it so we get one minute, this is the first movie. No, that's the second movie. Yeah, that's how, that's how the second movie started. So I've got no idea what the hell's going on. This is, I think, the second movie as well. Yeah, they, they keep messing about the timeline. You know, they, they do it in non chronological order. I fast forwarded the end of that one because it was really crap. It was good up to a point, and it just got really, really tedious. So, um, yeah. One hour and ten minutes. Three minutes left to go, and it's still prequels. This is... <laughs> well, that was it. 
So it wasn't an actual movie, it was just a best of compilation. And it wasn't even the best of, it was just bits they put together. Because I can think of a lot of really good bits that were in the first movie, and some good bits that were in the other movies, not many good bits, but that was a waste of fucking time. I mean, that was a complete waste of 20 minutes. I wasted 20 minutes of my life going through that. Wow, that was tedious. Okay, um, I'll move on to the next one.